9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off. The Falcon Heavy, go Falcon 9, go Falcon Heavy, go Echo Falcon. Good afternoon and welcome to a very brief angry bulletin. I really wanted to bring you guys something interesting today, something exciting about the future of space exploration, but it looks like that's going to be waiting until tomorrow because 37 minutes ago I found this in my inbox. Quote, good morning, the FAA issued this news today. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, proposes 633,009 dollars in civil penalties against Space Exploration Technologies Corporation or SpaceX for allegedly failing to follow its license requirements during two launches in 2023 in accordance with statutorily set civil penalty guidelines. Right now, the relationships between SpaceX and the FAA could not be at a lower point. I can't imagine that this is going to make things any better, but it's important for everybody to understand understand what these fines mean and what they do not mean, especially if we're talking about Boca Chica. Good afternoon and welcome to another Angry Bulletin. So I want to make something completely clear about what these fines appear to be. They have nothing to do with what is currently happening in Boca Chica. They are not being issued in regards to any sort of alleged wastewater violations or any kind of environmental penalties. Nothing like that. This is just something that happens to be occurring coincidentally at the same time that we have all of this unpleasantness going on in Boca Chica, but these fines have absolutely nothing to do with starships. So let's go ahead and read the full press release. Quote, the Federal Aviation Administration proposes $633,009 in civil penalties against SpaceX for allegedly failing to follow its license requirements during two launches in 2023 in accordance with statutory set civil penalty guidelines. Quote, Safety drives everything we do at the FAA, including a legal responsibility for the safety oversight of companies with commercial space transportation licenses, said FAA Chief Counsel Mark Nichols. Failure of a company to comply with the safety requirements will result in consequences. In May of 2023, SpaceX submitted a request to revise its communications plan related to its license to launch from Cape Canaveral, Space Force Station in Florida from Cape Canaveral. The proposed revisions included adding a new launch control room at Hangar X and removing the T-2 hour readiness pole from its procedures. On June 18th of 2023, SpaceX used the unapproved launch control room for the PSN Satria mission and did not conduct the required T-2 hour pole. The FAA is proposed $350,000 in civil penalties, $175,000 for each alleged violation. And then in July of 2023, SpaceX submitted a request to revise its explosive site plan related to its license to launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Its proposed revision reflected a newly constructed rocket propellant farm. On July 28, 2023, SpaceX used the unapproved rocket propellant farm for the Echo Star 24 Jupiter mission. And by the way, you're watching footage from the Echo Star mission that took place on July 28th of 2023. It was utilizing a Falcon Heavy to lift the heaviest geosynchronous satellite ever launched at just over nine metric tons. Very big satellite definitely required a powerful rocket like Falcon Heavy to deliver it directly into a geosynchronous orbit. Now, according to the records on this mission, there were two 
new boosters, reused boosters on this mission, the B-1065 and B-1064, each of which were conducting their third flights and had 194 day turnarounds on both boosters. And also they expended the center booster, the B-1074. It appears that the Echo Star Corporation was taking no chances because this was the first flight of that booster and they only used it once because they expended it. This booster was absolutely critical for delivering this payload all the way up to geosynchronous orbit and they wanted to make sure that that booster carried out its mission properly. Now the Satria mission, which is the other mission that the FAA is concerned about, launched an Indonesian communication satellite on June 18th of 2023 with a Falcon 9 and it utilized a booster that had been used many, many times before. This was B-106712, a booster which carried out 11 previous flights. And like the previous launch, this one went flawlessly as well. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets really haven't experienced any kind of problems until very recently. And even those recent problems haven't been all that significant. As we all know, these are very, very solid rockets and the FAA doesn't seem to be all that concerned about how the flights actually went. By the way, the Satria is, as I said before, for an Indonesian communications satellite built by the Talis Alenia Space Corporation, and it provides 90,000 schools and 40,000 hospitals and many other residential and government sites with 150 gigabit per second internet coverage. Very useful satellite and definitely worthwhile to be launching something like this. And once again, I don't think the FAA had any issue as to the missions as to how the flights were conducted, etc. It's the fact that SpaceX utilized an unapproved launch control room before they were supposed to use it, and also they started using a different procedure, minus the T-2 minus hour pole, before they were supposed to do that, and also they made use of a newly constructed rocket propellant farm before that had been approved either. So these are just enforcement fines, and not all that significant. Significant. Certainly, we are talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars here, and it cuts into SpaceX's profit, so I'm sure they're not terribly thrilled about it. And as I said, these are coming at a very inconvenient time, given all of the other enforcement actions that are taking place in Boca Chica, and we're not really sure how all of that is going to turn out. But one thing that we do know, of course, is that Starship has been delayed until late November, again, because of procedural issues, because SpaceX has allegedly not been handling things on a timely basis in Boca Chica in regards to the environmental requirements of what they're supposed to do when they make any sort of changes to their flight plan, as they have done between Flight 4 and Flight 5. Does this indicate some sort of a systemic issue that SpaceX goes off half-cocked before they have all the governmental approvals that they're supposed to have? Well, perhaps, but I'm not sure that we should try to assign any sort of systemic problem based on these two violations. Keep in mind how many missions SpaceX carries out every year. It's mind-boggling, and I can imagine that if SpaceX is faced with a choice of whether or not they're going to pay out a few fines in order to get a few more launches squeezed in in 2023, or play completely by the rules, and not get those flights in, I would say they would err on the side of the fines, just take their medicine and push on. We'll see what SpaceX's reaction is to all of this. I will keep you up to date. Thanks very much, Robert Ten, for becoming my latest Patreon supporter. Really appreciate your help, and please check the description for various ways to keep this content coming. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay angry about space.